the top lid. First, you want to make sure that there's no support screw there. You want to just make sure that in your model, this one, it doesn't have any. So just lift up, open, and we're going to put that to the side. Now this here is the power supply for the HP unit. They've been using it for a couple of years, and it's got several cables running alongside. I'm just going to lift the disk drive out of the way. And move this out of the way. You can see the cables there. Now you've got about three cables coming out of the power supply. This one, this one, and this one. And we're just going to have to undo those. I'm going to start with the one that's right next to the fan. Okay. And I'm going to unloop it and hold it there. Then I'm going to undo this one. So going side to side ever so slightly so it comes out. And I'm going to undo this one. Okay. Finally, I'm going to remove the power supply from the unit. This one can be a little tricky at times, like so. And now I can get to work on it. As you can see, we've got the power supply here. Now you've got different screws supporting it. You've got screws here, 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 here. These two are different sizes from the rest, and these two are different from the rest. We've also got one on the side, one on the opposite side, and one supporting on the top. So I'm just going to undo those, and you can see. Kind of... Undone all our screws. Here's our little screw map right there. And so we're now ready to undo the power supply. So as you can and see, there's a little le um, lever there of sorts where it supports it. So you lift from the back here, keeping in mind to move the wire out of the way. See? And you lift out. Oh, this one's quite dusty. So as you can see, the fan is right here. And you've got all the different components. Right here is the connector for the fan. You want to just undo that ever so slightly. Being careful of this because if you touch this you may get electrocuted. Right. So I'm just gonna undo the fan. This one is a bit stiff because it's not normally lifted out and you lift out from the top like so. As you can see the fan is right there. Um, now most people what they'll try to do is they'll try and angle the lubricant, in our case it's WD-40, into the little bit there. But what I like to do, I like to apply it directly to the spindle. So I remove the back sticker, put that right there. I use a utility knife, or you can use tweezers, as you've got right there, to open up the rubber support, right there. And you can see right there, you've got the spindle exposed. Now when I'm running, when I'm rotating it, the spindle is what's holding the fan in place, and that's what's slowing it down because there's resistance there. So I'm just going to get my WD-40, and I'm going to lay out some tissue right there so I don't dirty my bench. Shake it up, and apply direct WD-40 directly into it. I use this second little bit of X tissue to wipe off the excess on the top and I'm gonna start spinning this lifting it ever now and then to allow the extra WD-40 into the mechanism now as you can see it's all from the first spin it's already going a lot better but I'm gonna do it a few more times and it's up to you really how many times you do it and as you can see the fan is now spinning quite nicely and it's making no noise whatsoever. So what you want to do is you want to put the guard back on top and you can put the sticker on top. Don't worry if this isn't sticking down and because it's only a temporary adhesive if you want you can apply glue directly to it. However, I would not recommend that. So now what you can do is you can put your fan straight back in power supply 
straight back into the power supply, like so. Making sure that when you're putting it in, that you put your wire on the side there so it doesn't get caught here or here, as that can cause distribution of heat and could melt the wire potentially. So I'm just going to slide that back in, and we're all done. So I'm going to, I'm just going to put the top back on, making sure to put, move that closer in, making sure to line this up perfectly. So that goes in there. Three, two, one, go. So I've got the metal right in the gauge right there. I'm just going to slowly slide it in, making sure that the extra guard right there is right in place, that the wires aren't caught, and that all the metal bearings on the side are over the interior latch, so that it can simply slide in place and be ready when I put the screws on. And as you can see, the fan is making almost no noise whatsoever. Uh, I've been Ale I've been Alex from Gadgets World. If you need any assistance or help when trying this, don't forget to contact us on this number. And don't worry, you can trust us. We are professionals after all. Thank you.